If you have not heard of Bob Israel and Lake Minnetonka photography, you must not be on social media at all because your photos are everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> right off the bat, one thing I really want to know, and I think a lot of people want to know, is how did you get started doing photography? Well, it goes back to probably the 80s is when I really started. But, um, you know, I was young. I didn't really understand the technology all that well. I just like taking pictures. Um, and then it kind of went away for a long time. I think um, mostly because I was having kids at the time and things of that sort. And then digital came to be. Mm -hmm. um, and for whatever reason, uh, I, it just took off. I would take uh, pictures of my kids. My kids were hockey players. And so um, I was the team photographer. I became the team photographer. And uh, that kind of was the start of things taking off. And um, I thought I would do a lot of sports photography, but I've always been a nature person and, you know, love the environment, love the outdoors. And so I started doing more landscape and wildlife photography. And that's probably what I'm best known for is doing that. But my interests are so varied anyway. But sure. And you live, you live on the lake. Right. How do you decide, what kind of inspires you when you decide what you want to photograph? Do you kind of just see what's going on or do you go out with a plan? What's kind of your process? Well, it's a big advantage living on the lake because all you have to do is, is look out and see what you see. And so there are times where I live looking across the lake, I might see some American white pelicans sitting on a point. So I could just go down, hop in a boat go out to them and photograph them. Other times it's, um, you know, I, we're fortunate enough, very fortunate to face West. And so uh, sunsets, all I have to do is really go out on the deck <laughs> and set up and photograph it. But other times I'm just like cruising around the lake and there's so much wildlife and diverse wildlife all around. And I get some favorite spots here and there and then they change over the seasons and things of that sort. So it's it's just great fun to look at the lake from that aspect as opposed to skiing and boating and you know yeah things like that and you're doing you do images year round because i've seen some for winter as well so you didn't just go out in the summertime and if you if you live in the area you already know this if you're coming to visit there is something to do year round on lake minnetonka winter spring summer fall there's always something going on and that is a big part of what I love about your work is you're capturing Lake Minnetonka in all of her seasons and all of these different right. times of the year. Yeah. yeah, I love I love the winter as much as the summer. Um, once the lake freezes over and it's safe to walk out there, there's again, there's so much scenery and wildlife still, even in the winter. And then there's all the fishermen in the ice shacks and the little villages that pop up on the ice and you know, capturing them at different times of day and different times of the year. So there's, there's always something beautiful to see on the lake. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you share your work, which is so great. Here on Tonka Talk, we share a lot of his photographs because we're absolutely obsessed. What you, is there, because even the comments that we get when we share your work, mm -hmm. is there a place people can go to actually buy images? Yes, I have a website. It's bobisraelphotography.com. Very easy. Um, and I do sell images there, um, but I think locally I prefer to work with people one-on-one. -on -one. Um, you know, the website is good for having um, the print and delivery services for, um, for, for many things, but I'd rather hear what people are interested in. Yeah. What type of media do you want? Do you want to print on canvas, photo paper, metal? You know, what size do you want? Um, does it require a custom size? You know, where the website will do some of the standard things. Um, it, and it's always an opportunity for me to meet people mm -hmm. because I'll deliver in, in person. And that way I get to you know, see who's who's buying my images and, and uh, they learn more about me and I learn more about them. Do you have a, a favorite type of scenery to photograph when it comes to Lake Minnetonka? It's probably sunsets. I do a lot of sunsets. I do it with my camera. I do it with my drone. Um, and I don't know if it's because, well, I like sunsets. I also like sunrises. Before I moved to where I am now, I was on the facing east and so I would photograph sunrises. Um, it's probably the thing that I do the most. 
Uh, after that is wildlife. Uh, my favorite are bald eagles. We get them here on the lake. This is getting close to the time just before the lake freezes where they start to show up in more and more numbers. And so uh, I'll be looking out for them. I've seen a few images of the bald eagles and I'll be sharing some of those as well. Um, Has anything surprised you when you've gone out to photograph, whether it's wildlife or even just with the scenery, the sunrise, the sunset about Lake Minnetonka? Um, a lot of times we'll, well, I'll just go out boating on the lake. I'll have the camera with me, of course, and um, not necessarily having any expectations. And uh, sometimes I'm just surprised at how much I come back with. Um, and not just photographing a bird somewhere on the lake, but the diversity of all the wildlife and, and the birds that we see out there, the bald eagles, the ospreys, the pelicans, the herons, you know, there, and I could come back with great shots of each of them just from one little, little trip, not doing anything, but just cruising around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And in, in, through your photographs, I've seen more of the wildlife around Lake Minnetonka than I think I've actually seen in person. <laughs> so I didn't even realize that some of those birds even existed on Lake Minnetonka. And it's been neat because, you know, that as soon as you're aware of something, then you start to see it. Right. So I've been seeing it more once I was looking at your images. I thought that was really funny. Mm -hmm. There's. Do you have spots that you prefer around the lake? for photos? There's a few. Um, there seems to always be, uh, at least for a period of time on Hard Scrabble Point, the American white pelicans gather there. Mm -hmm. Many of us think that they're only there for a brief amount of time, but I've been fortunate enough to see these birds around for eight weeks. Wow. Um, and in numbers that are like six to eight at a time. And many times they're just sitting there on the point. Um, and uh, once in a while I get them flying. Um, other spots, there's a lot of diverse, uh, uh, wildlife and birds around, uh, Daring Island, uh, mm -hmm. that part of the lake, but it's always hit and miss, mm -hmm. you know, it's that you never know what you're going to find. Yeah. But, uh, what I like being able to do is, is being able to show, you know, people on Lake Minnetonka, we love boating, we love skiing and wake surfing and, and maybe even partying at Big Island, but... I'm hoping that I'm presenting a different part of the lake that, yeah. that people don't normally see. And that's what I love about it, because I'm seeing some Im images and I thought, because I've lived in the area for about 30 years. Hmm. And I thought, oh, well, that's not on Lake Minnetonka. And I realized, no, it is. <laughs> yeah. There's so much more to discover, even when you think you know the lake or the area. And again, that's something else that I love and that you share these images because again, on Tonka Talk, we talk about a lot of the ways people create community and connection. Mm -hmm. And I've seen people come together over these images and have a new appreciation for the area. It makes me want to slow down and take the time to see that sunset in person right. instead of just completely rushing through the day. Yeah. And I have to do that, too. Sometimes I have to put the camera down and just enjoy the sunset. You know, and I don't often do that because I look at it and I say, God, somebody should capture them. And it's like, <laughs> so I got to do it. So, but yeah, sometimes I, I, I do have to just sit back and enjoy because it's, it's spectacular. Yeah. Yeah. What would you tell if there's someone who is kind of starting out with photography? Do you have any advice you would give someone who wanted to get into a similar type of photography that you do? Um, yeah. I mean, I tell people all the time, um, shoot what you like and like what you shoot and don't worry about what anybody else says. And, um, the best, I mean, the way that I learned was, um, you know, I joined a few forums and I watched and looked and listened to what people were doing and the, the compositions that they came up with, but it's really just getting out there and enjoying photography and, and taking lots of images and mm -hmm. learning your learning your gear and learning about composition. Um, I'm not at all professionally trained in photography, but it's just through time and effort and mm -hmm. knowing what I like and being able to focus on that. So put in the time, put in the effort. Yeah, and enjoy the ride. Yeah. Yeah, and definitely enjoy the journey. Yeah, yeah. that is great advice. If you're if you have any questions for Bob, go ahead and post them in the comments and then we'll encourage him to jump on and answer those 
I'm going to go ahead and share a link to his website where you can purchase some of his work and continue to share his work for as long as he will let us. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I do watermark them. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> um, you got to do that in this day and age, but yeah, I'm happy to share it. I'm just, you know, glad to be able to show the beauty of Lake Minnetonka in the area, and uh, I hope people continue to enjoy it. Yeah, I think they will. Thank you so much for coming in, Jerry. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Great. Everybody else, I will talk to you later.